I have a dog behind me. Hi everybody and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Shelly, and if you're not new, thank you for coming back. I thought I'd come on today and talk to you guys about BoxyCharm. Everybody else is talking about BoxyCharm. Why am I not talking about BoxyCharm? Here's what I want to know. If you have BoxyCharm, do you think it's a good value? I mentioned the part where I'm not a makeup artist, right? There is a subscription service out there. You've probably seen it all over. I subscribe to it and if I use my referral link then I get like something called charms that I guess I can use there. I've never had anybody else sign up for it, um, probably because I haven't told them about it. I've had several subscription services over the years and I wanted to see if it was going to be a good value. I think it was originally $21 a month and then they increased the price to $25 five dollars a month which is um, what I'm at right now and then when you are you're ready you can get on a waiting list for either boxy premium which is a new subscription service and that goes up to thirty five dollars a month or you can get on boxy Lux, and I think I was on the wait list for boxy Lux for maybe two or three months before I finally got approved for that and that price goes up a little bit more so basically what they do is they take your if you're on basic boxy boxy Lux is quarterly so they take your basic box and you'll skip it every three months, but then you get charged an extra $24.95 and then you get Boxy Lux. I have my December Boxies. I've got Boxy Premium and I've got Boxy Lux to go over. We're gonna take a look at each one of them. I don't know exactly how much the box weighs, it's called Whimsy, which is awfully cute. So I'm just gonna go through. This is how it comes boxed. I haven't even gone through this stuff yet. I have Variation 25, it's down there in the corner. And every time you get boxy, you get a little, there comes in a theme and then you get some information about it. So I'm going to talk to you about some of the things I got. First thing I got in this particular box, and I guess, you know, the idea is, is it worth it for the 50, 50 bucks, forty nine ninety five that you pay for it? You do get to choose one thing, one item for each of your boxes. So far, I haven't been in love with the choices. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. The rest of them are just kind of a surprise, but there are people that do spoilers. And sometimes you can tell by following them on, on Instagram or YouTube and they'll kind of tell you a little bit in advance about, you know, what to expect. I don't follow those things. Um, I do see when other YouTubers start showing what they've received. I knew to expect a couple things, but in the past, I, you know, I've had my heart set on something. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to get that. And then I find out that I didn't actually get that. I have a dog behind me now. Boxy Lux, they say the value is like some big astronomical value, 300 bucks I think or something like that. Don't quote me on it, I can't remember and I'm not gonna look it up right now because chances are this is not your first Boxy un unveiling video. Okay, first thing I got in my Boxy Lux was this Daily Concepts Daily Hair Towel. Helps reduce frizz and maintain healthier hair by cutting the time of blow drying and heat exposure which ultimately reduces the risk of split ends and excessive damage. MSRP on this supposedly is $18. I'll try it. I'll try it. I have a lot of hair. It doesn't look quite so big today because I've straightened it, but I have a lot of hair. It's naturally curly. I don't wash it every day, so when I do wash it, it's kind of a process. What else did I get? I am unwrapping the next thing. This is the Ciate Confetti Highlighter. They say achieve a sun-kissed glow with Ciate London's Confetti Highlighter. Featuring a mix of shades that have been carefully pressed together. This is a radiant highlight in one sweep. MSRP on this is $32. It's a very reflective package. Oh, that's interesting. So it is like a highlighter, but kind of looks a little bit like a bronzer. Now it's focused on it. It's interesting. It's like it's textured. By the way, that's Zeus. Goodbye, Zeus. Kind of a bronzy color. This is probably not the best way to review it. I don't know that it's really my color. It might end up being a highlighter or um, an eyeshadow for me because it's, um, it's a little dark for a highlighter. I don't know. It's pretty color. I'll try it. I don't know. I have to be careful about, I think everybody should be careful about where they put highlighter and shiny stuff on your skin because it can make it look not so good. Okay. I also received the Saturday Skin, Saturday Skin Waterfall Glacial, Glacier Water Cream, an anti-aging glacier water cream that delivers mineral rich moisture while protecting skin from free radicals, effusion of ferments, amino acids, and plant extracts help calm skin while boosting vitality and suppleness. MSRP on this is $39. Okay. Doesn't really smell like anything. We're gonna dab a little bit on here. This is a gel. 
um, which I think most water creams are. Feels a little bit like the Neutrogena Hydro, whatever, hyaluronic acid. Okay, so I put some on the back of my hand and I can tell you right away the texture of my hand feels smoother and plumper. And for fun, I'm gonna put my old AF hands next to the monitor and you can see this is the one I didn't put it on, and this is the one I did put it on. And even though there's literally no reason why my skin tone should look better from one hand to the next, it does. I can see it. And I can see him. You actually get 50 milliliters, 1.69 fluid ounces. Okay, what else did I get? I got the In Beauty Project Power Up Dual Phase Setting Mist. Looks like that in the package and it says, this energizing face mist is the pick-me-up you need to get you through the day and night. Special bi-phase formula instantly activates and transforms as you shake it. Get ready to power up formulated with our Even Out M Complex, which helps even the look of redness, splotchiness, hyperpigmentation, dark spots and dullness, naturally colored and scented with energizing aromatic from plants. MSRP on this, full size bottle is $32. Definitely looks like there's different colors in it and little little oil beads in there. Okay, that has a fresh scent. Um, what is that scent? I don't know what the scent is, but it reminds me of something. I'm gonna put some on my face. Like the mist. It says helps to set makeup, energize and revive skin, filters away dull, tired and stressed out complexion. Okay. Sometimes I feel they're right stressed out. It's good to have that around. I don't mind facial mists, actually. Some of them I use more than others. Some of them I use to dampen a beauty blender before I apply my makeup. Figure it can't hurt, right? Better than water. Okay, next thing I got was this Too Faced Melted Matte Talic. And this says long wearing, innovative, ultra matte lipstick with the staying power of a stain and the intense color of a liquid lipstick. I actually have, I've had these in the past. This is the color I got today. I haven't had this color before. This one is in the shade Faking It. So watch it on the back of my hand and we'll just see what it looks like. Oh, pretty. That to me absolutely looks like a shade that I would wear. Kind of a mauve nudie color. I would wear that. I don't mind a metallic lip at all. Retails for $21. Next thing I got is the QMS Medi Cosmetics Lip Line Corrector. And this is a, oh, so this is half of an ounce. 0.5 fluid ounces. And it says this is a MSRP of $200. Can buy La Mer for that. Formulated exclusive for the upper lip area, Lip Line Corrector targets fine lines and wrinkles. This high performance lightweight serum is specifically designed to hydrate and plump lips for a smoother, youthful appearance. I don't have a ton of upper lines yet, which I'm super happy about. Oh, this is cool. So you twist the top and it comes up. I like that. I'm scared to test it on the back of my hands because it looks like it's so, I mean, it's like $200 for a half of an ounce. I don't know how to get it to come out. I can't even pump this on the back of my hand because it doesn't, it doesn't come out. I'm gonna have to work on that one. Well, you know how I do. Okay, next up in the box was this soy, uh, fresh soy face cleanser for all skin types. Looks like this in the box. I'm gonna open it up here. I like cleansers. I'm about done with the cleanser that I don't like, so I'm excited to try something new. It has a light fragrance, like a, um, it definitely has that kind of soy aloe type. Gel cleanser for all skin types has a cult following for the way it removes makeup, even mascara without drying for soft, supple skin. It's made with amino rich uh, soy proteins, calming cucumber extract. I smell the cucumber, I think in there. And balancing rose water, sensitive skin. It also soothes and tones. MSRP on this is $48. Got a lot of skincare right now. Oh, another spray bottle. This is the M Green Grass. This is a dry oil spray called Beach Air. I get that. 
kind of a, has a, I think of seagrass, kind of a seagrass scent. It's called Beach Air. This was inspired by Greece, it says on the bottle. I like the glass bottle. It's actually kind of cool. This fast absorbing multi-purpose dry oil spray is formulated with a blend of high quality oils that quickly penetrate, delivering superior moisture, leaving skin soft and luminous without feeling greasy. Layer with M green grass hand and body for extra moisturizer. You know what I'm gonna use this on? The MSRP on this is $36. I'm gonna use this in the shower. When I get done with the shower, I'm gonna spray down my legs and my arms and stuff. We'll see how that goes. It says uh, spray and massage the oil directly onto your skin for hair. Spray the oil on your palms and run through tips of your hair to dispense or disperse evenly for face. Spray the oil onto your hands and apply to your face where needed. So you can put it on your tips. All right. Spraying it in my hand. I got two pumps in there. Kind of. It smells good. I worry about this being too oily in my hair. I guess we'll find out. I'll have to wash it tomorrow. I guess we'll know. I don't know if you're supposed to use it with hair dryer or hair wet. I tend to get a little dry kind of underneath here a little bit. Doesn't smell bad. I'm gonna use that in the shower. I have one more item. This is the Storybook Cosmetic Fairy Tales palette. I was excited to get one of these. I've seen everybody else have one of these. There seems like there's been Red Riding Hood, Robin Hood. This one's actually called Little Briar Rose, so I'm excited about that. Storybook Cosmetics, Little Briar Rose Eyeshadow Storybook Palette is a magical palette featuring a custom hardcover storybook with a dozen highly pigmented matte metallic and pearl eyeshadows. Cruelty-free, long wear, buttery smooth shadow formula can be used wet or dry. Mix and match to create, uh, to concoct, sorry, to concoct your favorite spellbinding look. MSRP on this cute little book that would look awesome on a shelf if you have a whole collection. MSRP is $55, seems a bit much. Again, here's the colors, they have cute little names. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna swatch these on the back of my hand really fast and we'll just see kind of what they look like. First one I'm going in with is Prince and then I'm gonna go Castle next to it. That's Castle. And then I'll take Fairies to that. That's fairies. We've got fairies, castle, and prince. Those are pretty. And then for fun, I'm going to do some of the, it definitely has like a coral element, a blue element, and kind of a raspberry element. I'm going to try, this one's called Grim. And we'll put that right here. It's pretty. And then I'm going to use beauty right next to it. Oh, that's pretty. And then last one, I'm gonna put Thorn right next to that. Looks like it might make a nice um, nice transition shade. So I'm excited to play with this. I'm gonna, I'll do a look and we'll see. Maybe I'll film that. I'll film that later on using some of these other products. Okay, so that was it today. Let me do the math on how much the individual value of these are for this particular box. Again, I got variation 25. It came with nine full-size products. I paid $49.95 for it, I believe. And the MSRP value. Oh my. So the MSRP value for everything I received in my box, $483 for the $49.95 that I paid for it. Would I um, have purchased these things individually? I can tell you that the Melted Matte Lipstick I have purchased before. Um, I enjoy it, I keep it in, in my glove box in my car or my little center console in my car. The face cleanser I'm actually excited about. I don't like the face cleanser that I have, so I'm excited to try that one. I definitely like the idea of the um, the Waterfall Glacier Cream. I like gel moisturizers as it is. Like I said, I've been using the Neutrogena. This Saturday Skin one for $39. I don't know that I would purchase that, so I'm kind of excited to try it. I'm definitely excited about this green grass dry oil spray. I do like to use oil sprays on my skin, especially when my skin's just damp before I dry it off. The confetti highlighter, not entirely sure how I feel about that one yet. That might be probably my least used item in this. I do wash my hair, so I will try the hair wrap. What I bought it, bought it myself, I have two or three of them. I might, I might purchase that. How much was that one again? Was eighteen dollars? It's not unreasonable. I might have, I might have bought it for that. The dual face setting mist. I'll try it. I like setting mist. This QMS line corrector though, I got it out. Okay, for $200, you would think, now there's a little tiny drop of it. It is very lightweight. 
it doesn't have an offensive scent, but you think for a $200 MSRP, the delivery system would be a little bit easier to use. All right, guys, hope this was informative. I am going to see you in a few minutes on the Oxy Premium. I'm sure Zeus is very fascinated by that. Okay, I'm back. Here is the December Boxy Charm Boxy Premium Edition. I'm gonna see what I got, and today I already knew that the theme for this month was whimsy. I have received a variation 29. Now, I have seen other people unbox theirs. I'm not on any kind of PR list. I'm not affiliated with Boxy in any way, shape, or form. I do have a referral code, uh, which I will include somewhere if you are interested in the description, I guess. If you are interested in um, using it, I think I get points, but but you're under no obligation and I've never had anybody use it so I don't know why somebody would start now but if you're at all interested if seeing what I get makes you decide that this is a good value for you by all means fine that's how I decided to, to sign up for it was seeing what other people got okay first thing I got as I go through it comes fairly well packaged okay things are bubble wrapped and I took out the bubble wrap that was on top of it already things are fairly well wrapped they're in nice boxes it doesn't look like anything is broken that I can tell right now. First thing I'm pulling out of here is the watermelon pink juice moisturizer. This says, it's interesting. Okay, I got it open. Oh, the, gla the glass bottle is pretty. It's like textured. It feels, I don't know, ergonomic. This feels very luxurious, actually. This is really beautiful. The Glow Recipe Watermelon Pink Juice Moisturizer. This is six milli 60 milliliters. 90% of this silky glow moisturizer is spiked with vitamin and amino acid rich watermelon extract, plumping hyaluronic acid and soothing botanicals like peony and jasmine extracts. Cooling gel emulsion absorbs instantly to seal in hydration and prep skin for the day ahead. Antioxidants guard against free radicals and repair damaged cells along the way. Use morning and night. It drenches the skin in luscious, long wearing moisture. Okay. The smell. It smells like cucumbers. I don't know that I smell watermelon, but it smells like cucumbers. Okay, so this is a watermelon pink juice moisturizer. So apparently, <laughs> I have to try it on a different my non-dominant hand. Okay, that's what the. Uh, it's very liquidy. It is a definitely a gel. I don't really smell watermelon. I mean, I used one pump on the back of my hand. I think one pump could probably go on your whole face. My skin does feel. Um, moisturized. I guess it does feel a little bit like maybe a primer. I've had other hyaluronic acid gels and oils and things before. This has a little bit of a different texture. It feels a little tacky, but it doesn't have an offensive smell to me anyway. I don't know how long it'll take before it actually will die down. Maybe that's just the thing. Maybe you have to make sure it, it gets into your, sucks into your skin. Again, I used a, a pump. What do I have next? This is the eye sleeping mask right here from Laneige, it looks like. And this says, a real eye opener, the first ever leave on eye mask deeply hydrates through the night while depuffing and soothing fatigued eyes with a cooling ceramic massage tool for a vitalized appearance, not even revitalized, but a vitalized, a vitalized appearance. Eye moisture wrap technology helps to soothe and maintain deep hydration while you sleep. MSRP on this is $34. I guess I should say the Glow Recipe Watermelon Pink Juice Moisturizer. MSRP on this is $39. I paid $35 for the entire box. So I've already made up for it with this watermelon stuff that I probably wouldn't have tried on my own. So I'm in being introduced. Okay, so this, Lunage thing, this sleeping eye mask. This is must be what you use to. So it's ceramic. It's a ceramic tool. I guess maybe you dip into it and then and then use it to kind of smooth on. I'm excited. I am an eye product junkie. I will absolutely try this. I'm gonna try this tonight. Next thing up on my list, this this was a one of my choice items. This is the Skin Fix. It says it's an eczema dermatitis face balm i don't have eczema i think it was i think i saw face balm and it was different than the other thing that they had and i can't remember what it was and this seemed like it would be slightly more interesting um i don't know if it's really there we go so skin fix i don't think i've ever tried this brand before um it says concentrated balm comes to the rescue to treat dermatitis eczema and dry patches on your gorgeous face leaving irritated skin soothed restored and protected dermatitis face balm works quickly to safely and effectively calm reactions to makeup lash, ex lash extensions fragrance or skincare and other flare-ups of facial dermatitis and eczema okay so i can tell you the one thing i'm excited about using this, this is msrp is a 28 dollars this is the full size the, the full sizes 
net weight 13.5 gram 0.48 of an ounce I, I don't know that's maybe it's very concentrated it's got to be because it's a bomb maybe i don't know oh yeah it's very thick this is very petroleum jelly like okay so recently oh it, it this smells like vaseline it smells and looks like kind of a thicker Vaseline or an Aquaphor or one of those, which are great. I mean, they're great products when you have super dry skin. I get dry skin. I don't know that I get dry skin like that. I'll tell you one thing I'm excited about. I recently used some, uh, I think it was some Soul, S-O-L, body glitter type sprays. And I tried it on two different instances, two different occasions, and each time I did, I sprayed it on my arms. Nice sheen glow kind of a thing. I think they're an oil-based delivery. And I had two different colors of them. I bought two different ones and my skin turned into this scaly blistery absolutely awful mess the only thing i know i'm allergic to is nickel there was no nickel in the ingredients i reached out to the company and they didn't get back to me they said that they would look into their and get get a hold of their scientists or chemists or something and find out if there was a chance that it come in contact with any nickel or if there's any nickel in the formula I never heard back from him. All I know is that I had a horrible, horrible reaction. I've never had a reaction like that before. If that ever happens to me again, I'm gonna use this bad boy because I think that would probably have really helped it. That's a big package for this little, that's a big package for this little bottle. I'm not keen on wasting cardboard, but I will recycle it, so at least there's that. What do I have next? Okay, so this is the Basic Beauty Glowy AF Wet Glow Trio. Glow AF is a versatile multi-use highlight designed to be worn over makeup over a blinding eye-catching glow. Let's see, or for a blinding eye-catching glow. Dab it with your finger or, or your fave brush across your brow line, collarbone, eyes, cheeks, or lips. The jelly texture is perfect for precise application. It applies wet and dries down, holding to the pigment in place. So this is a jelly. Okay, it reminds me a little bit Super Shocks. Okay, well I've got a swipe of the color Barbie Dream House. Did you have one of those when you were a kid? I'm putting next to it a smear of Fiji. I'd like to go there, that would be fun. And lastly, this last one is called No Spray Tan, which I'm not opposed to. So, I don't know if it shows in this light at all, but those are kind of what the colors look like. I might be inclined to use something like that on a collarbone or something, I guess. I don't know. Are they. They don't look like highlighters that I would use, personally. They look like they would be better, maybe eyeshadows. I don't know. I don't know that I would use them as, as a highlighter. I think I need a lighter high highlighter. I filled out their complexion thing, so they know. This retails for $30, MSRP on this is $30. Last item I got was a Kat Von D, looks like a eyeliner. It says cake pencil liner. Unprecedented creaminess, intensely rich color, budge resistant, waterproof. Long wear and 100% vegan eyeliner. Now you don't have to choose between luscious, creamy comfort and true performance. So we're gonna swatch this bad boy. Not a super pigmented black, but not bad either. I think this is one that I would actually use. I'm not a big fan of liquid eyeliners. If you've ever seen any of my other videos, I struggle with them. This I will, I will use. Not normally like a huge fan of Kat Von D for a variety of reasons. Not something I would have purchased, but glad to try it. It takes a long time to go through eyeliner, so I'll have that one for a while. Hi, Zeus. Okay, the last thing I got, so I was expecting, you know, I got that uh, storybook, got this one in my other uh, boxy subscription, and I know that there were like three or four variations, so I was kind of expecting to get one of those, and hopefully a different color. I've seen some people get multiples of the same color, so I was kind of hoping I wouldn't get that. However, I got a totally unexpected dose of colors. This is called Hidden Treasure Palette. Don't know anything about it because it's not even on my list. I'm guessing that they saw that I had both and yanked out the one that was in there and replaced it because I was supposed to get another Little Briar Rose palette. I'm actually glad I didn't because I don't have to give it away now. I would have um, put it in a giveaway, I think. Uh, I've got some things I'm kind of collecting for that once I have enough viewers to actually do giveaways. That's what the palette looks like. It's dose of colors. They are cruelty-free, gluten-free, paraben-free, talc-free, and phthalate-free. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay. These are the colors. This is the color story. This has everything for me that I would use in a 
a regular eye look. There's some like the brown taupe and the pearl shimmer seem to be a little bit more on the cool tone, but I think you can spice it up um, with diamond and grown. And then you have this color right there, which is a nice warmer transition transition shade. I like the fact that I've got a couple mattes that are transition. transition. I've got um, really for me, I've got four different uh, eyelid toppers and I've got two darker colors. One is a dark brown. One of them, it looks like a very matte black. And then I've got two lighter shimmers, one pearl, and then one called coin. I'm gonna try that. I feel more inspired by this unexpected surprise than I did with the fairy tales book. I think the fairy tale, the, the book is beautiful. The, I, I love books. I've got thousands of books. I love the book concept. I think this is cute. It's this thick and, and I know the pants aren't that big. I mean, the pants probably only go down to maybe there. So you've got all this extra space. I don't know, maybe you can use it to hide treasures or something. I need to look up on my phone to find out this Hidden Treasures palette. Dose of Colors, I wanna find out what the MSRP is on that. According to the website, the Dose of Colors Hidden Treasure palette, $50. So I'm gonna use this to add up the value of this box. Again, I paid $35 for the Boxy Premium. So if I do the $50 for the Dose of Colors palette, which the Storybook Cosmetics is $55, so the values are roughly the same. $39 for the uh, Pink Watermelon Juice stuff. $19 for the Kat Von D eyeliner, $35 for the Laneige eye sleeping mask. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. $30 for the Basic Beauty Glowy AF, which I don't know that I will use. And $28 for the Skin Fix Dermatitis Face Balm. That seems a bit excessive. The grand total is $200. So for $35, I got $200 for the product. I'm excited about this. I don't know that I'm excited, but I will absolutely use the liner. I like the um, watermelon juice moisturizer. I love the bottle. The bottle is super cool. I will use the eye sleeping mask because I am an eye mask junkie. This I will save. I will save for when I need it. Basic beauty highlighter thing. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it as an all over, but I'll just strategically place it like, you know. <clears throat> all right, you guys. I had fun with this. I don't know if you guys want me to continue doing these. I posted a, a question to Instagram about it to see, you know, does anybody want me to do a boxy um, unboxing? And I got a thumbs up from boxy. <laughs> so I'm doing this because boxy charm noticed my post and uh, they gave it a thumbs up. So here I am doing promotional work for them. Like they don't have thousands and tens of thousands of other people doing these boxy unboxings. Okay, I'm disappointed that I didn't get to do a regular subscription uh, $25 box because I have enjoyed those in the past. Um, do I think that these are absolutely worth the amount of money I paid for them? Yeah, for what, 486 or whatever the, the boxy premium is and another $200 for the $35 box. Um, yeah, I think it's a nice mix. I think there's, that you don't feel like you're getting samples, you don't feel like you're getting uh, something that they couldn't sell, you know? Sometimes you feel like getting rid of things because they're overstock items or they couldn't sell in stores. I don't feel like that. I feel like these were all good products and things that um, I'm excited to try out some of this stuff. So I'm gonna keep the subscription up. We'll see if anybody watches this video. If you've made it this far, please subscribe, please give it a thumbs up, please comment. That's what I need, I need comments. I need people to interact with me and tell me what you like. Uh, I am going to do some eye makeup looks with these cosmetic. I really need subscribers. I am a long way from being on anybody's radar. I don't try to be funny. I think I'm just naturally really goofy and I hope that's relatable. What I want to do with the makeup videos is I want to show that you can still think makeup is cool, still be professional, still be completely capable and well-respected in the workplace, that you can still play with makeup, you can still be fun, you don't have to give up. I think for me, I started watching the videos because I wanted to see if other palettes were good value, so I do these three looks with one palette, and I, I don't do the is it a dupe um, videos because I think they're done already. There's a lot of really, really great YouTubers out there doing that kind of stuff, and for me, I wanna know if I'm gonna spend my hard-earned cash on a palette, is it gonna be worth it? Is is Does the dollar amount equate to what I wanna spend for it? So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please subscribe. I will talk to you next time.